Now we want to determine how the specific impulse sets the rocket performance. So the big difference between a rocket and an airplane is the percentage of mass, which is the propellant, or fuel. For an airplane, usually we're talking about something on the order of 25%. For a rocket, it can be on the order of 90%. So essentially, you're just carrying around propellant mass. So therefore, it's very important to consider the change in mass as the rocket uh, accelerates. So if I sketch out a, a rocket, this is going to be a bit of a cartoon. Of a, perhaps stereotypical rocket ship. Here's the center of mass of the rocket with weight mg. This is at some angle theta. The rocket moving with velocity u. Outside here is pressure p naught. If we draw a control volume around the rocket, just that passes through the tip of the nozzle then there's a small amount of mass being ejected at some incident time, dm, or over some brief span of time, uh, and there's a pressure, pe, acting in here. This is area ae, and there's velocity coming out ue. So, if we consider that this small mass, dm, is expelled from the rocket during a time interval, dt, then the details of this is gone through in the notes, and I won't go through the full de derivation here, but by considering the initial and final momentum of the mass in the control volume, and neglecting higher order terms, uh, we can come up with the change in momentum, So the change in momentum from across this small time instant dt is m, it should be mv, uh, no, mv the mass of the, the vehicle, du minus ue dm. Now if we consider the forces acting on this system, um, which is both the rocket and the expelled mass, then the sum of forces is PE minus P naught times AE minus the drag D minus M dot cos theta. This is the direction of the velocity. So the now we'll call the idea of, uh, of impulse from mechanics, which is the integral of F dt, must balance the change in momentum. And since by, so we can put that together, and then since by definition dm is m dot dt, where this is the uh, propellant mass flow rate, we can write this as negative dm of the vehicle dt times dt. And if we also go back and make our earlier simplifying assumption that PE equals P naught, then we can get that DU, the change in velocity, is UE DMV over MV minus the drag over MV times DT minus G close theta DT. This is known as the rocket equation.